Hello. Hello again. We are on our way somewhere very special. Very excited. I'm not even going to pretend I'm not excited to be going here. We've just stopped. We're not far. We're about six, four miles from the uh, the location, the campsite. We are heading to Darby. So we're just arriving at Mason's campsite. So it's not a camper van and nope. motorhome. Not one of them. Caravan and you know the one that I always get confused with. That's it. Mason's campsite in a little village called Apple Tree Wick. Uh, and you can see the sign here. We're turning in. Coffee and bread shed. Oh yeah, it's got oh, loads. So we have arrived, and we've been here ten minutes, and we've already got mud everywhere. <laughs> because it's very muddy, isn't it? It's so muddy here. It's quite chilly as well. I've got all of my coats out, tried them all on, to the right temperature, and then I've gone for a big jumper. And we're gonna find a pub now. Yes. Can't wait, let's explore. So we're just in the courtyard. Um, toilets and facilities are here. And smooth panning, smooth panning. I've turned auto stabilisation off. We're trying to play with settings on the cameras. So apologies if you're feeling a bit uh, seasick. I'm trying Motion to keep it still. Sick. You stand still. I'll move. Woo. Okay. Um, and we've ordered our bread for tomorrow from the bread shed. And um, and a pan of chocolate for Caroline. Just to be sociable, obviously. And the bread shed is just there behind Caroline. Show us where it is. There. There. That's it. There. On the other side, there's an airstream, which is reception and a really cool shop, isn't there? You've not been that yet. I've let's not go been in the shop. Let's go yet, in the shop so then. We're going to go and have a look in the shop. Okay. Right. And then we're just going to walk. Have a little walk. To the pub. We haven't got any local beer. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, let's go find. Come on. Just pretend that we're really fit and healthy and we're just going to walk in, not in search of alcohol. Also, inspired by France, they have bulls and skittles here. You can play for free with the plastic ones or you can rent uh, the metal ones. Again, for free, just pay a deposit. It's really cool. I've like been in France. And then over here, you've got fire pits. You can rent them out per night and light them if you're camping, which is really good. And there's also some trolleys to help campers carry their stuff down to their tents. And a really cool Lada Riva 4x4 over there. Sorry. <laughs> there's the airstream. That's the shop and reception. This is a good pub, isn't it? Very good. Just down the road. We're at the Craven Arms. Gateway Cra to the Ales. Craven Arms, gateway to the Ales. Love it. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, Pint Timothy Taylor, cider, menu, and really friendly inside. You've got a roaring open fire inside. Mm. <laughs> mm. Get inside if you want. Dogs allowed. I think we could get a fire in the van. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to end this now. <laughs> What are you drinking? This one's Hetton Pale Ale from five miles away down the road. Highly recommended by the landlord. So they've got about four or five, six different local ales. Oh, so I'm just going to try them. This could be a messy video. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's nice. Local steak and ale pie. Bear, what are them chips called? Beef dripping chips. Beef dripping chips. I can't remember what the green thing was. And what have you got? Pea. Mushy, mushy peas. peas. I was just going to say, mushy peas do look good actually. Yeah, what have you got? Um, vegan lasagna. Mm. Vegan lasagna with chips. And what's on the other side? I can't quite see. Oh, it's like a salad type. Oh, yeah. Thing. That's good. Very Excellent. interesting. Mm. Let's eat. Starve here. Thank <laughs> you. 
how's your dinner? Really good, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you wait till I'm eating and then speak to me. Oh, that's all gone. Caroline, you're having your dinner. Mine went ages ago. I don't know if you can see how big these plates are. That's a pint glass there. That's a plate. It's absolutely ginormous. Oh, absolutely. Excellent as well. So tasty. Mm. This is the door to the pub. So cool. And the thatch cottage, thatch roof. We did find another pub, but Caroline insisted we had to go for a walk first. We have to at least walk off the first food and drink before we can have any more. That's got to be the rules. There's lots of local lovely beer, so instead of buying it from the shop today, we'll be able to get it from the actual pub, which is even better. And the good thing is, they're like five minutes walk from the camper van. So, if he gets really leery, I could probably just roll him up the hill. <laughs> it's a nice walk, isn't it? It is, yeah. I think this is the track to Dibbles Bridge. Dibbles Bridge. So it was two and a half miles. So you might not walk the whole thing. Just because it's getting a bit dark now. Probably turn all around when the camera's off in a second. Yeah. <laughs> just like look how fit and healthy we are as so we walk two and a half miles after a full pub lunch. <laughs> yeah, we can turn it off in a minute and go back. Yeah. That pub looked really good. <laughs> Bye. Bad news. There are sheep here. We can't go any further. Can we, Molly? See? Actual sheep. Over there. Therefore, we'll have to go back. No other thing for it. Caroline is very excited. So excited. In my monthly subscription of gin that I've got, um, I got uh, an Otterbeck distillery gin. Um, not even opened it yet. I've come here for a local gin. This is the one that we've got, the cotton gin from the Otterbeck distillery. So how exciting to come and get the gin and then I've got a whole bottle of it at home unopened. Excellent. Most excited. This is the cotton gin and it's made from Cotton? Well, gin, obviously. Um, it's made in a historic cotton mill. That's why ah, it's cotton. Ah, see. Um, so yeah, very nice, beautiful surroundings. Oh as yeah, well. beautiful surroundings. I got local um, pale ale. Oh, I have no idea what it is, house. but it's very close to here. I need to go and find out what name it was. Probably have another one just to check. It's <laughs> just okay. to be sure. Yeah, and that beautiful scenery, and then Molly just fixing the leg. So, we have a way to get Wi-Fi or internet signal when you have no signal on your phone. Special technique just for camper vans and I'll show you how genuinely 100% this works. We have no phone signal here whatsoever. We've got no Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi booster. We've done something and we've now got full 4G. Observe the television. <laughs> that is running Sky Sports on Now TV. I see anything on there but running now TV. It's amazing what you can find out when you really want to watch Scotland on telly. <laughs> we'll show you how. Stay tuned. So basically this is the light in the pop top. That is my phone cable. And up here if you follow it all the way up there's a light shining up there so you can see what I'm doing. So about the flashing. That is the phone. So the phone is right up there in the roof hanging on the handle plugged in providing full 4G hotspot, like a Wi-Fi. It honestly, it works. Morning. So it is Sunday, first day, and we are taking the Riverside path to Gressington, better known as Darby in all creatures, great and small. Oh. The second day, not first day. We arrived yesterday. 
I said Sunday, didn't I? Oh, did you? Sorry, I thought you said... I think, I think it said Sunday. First day. No, Sorry. I said... I'm pretty Sunday. sure I said Sunday. Whatever, anyway. We'll check it back on the video, then we'll have, <laughs> a, we'll have a row about it <laughs> later. We will, so that'll fix it. This um, is the entrance to the campsite. Yeah, there you go, back the way. And the river is just, sorry about the sun, just there behind the, the tree. We'll have a look along now. It's a lovely day, it's quite warm. Obviously, normal people have got layers in their coats. The Scottish amongst us are just in a t-shirt. Boiling. <laughs> Let's go. You going in? Go if you want. This is riverbank we're walking along now is Caroline's there. This is the campsite and this goes all the way along to Hebden Bridge and then crosses over the water Hebden Bridge and then it goes to, to Grassington, not Darby, Grassington. Well, that's the plan anyway. Come on Mel, let's go. Cool old tree trunk that's been turned into a money tree. Some of them coins look really old. Some look really new as well. Money tree. Hang on a minute, you said money doesn't grow on trees, you <laughs> lied. <laughs> It doesn't, oh, this is what it's happens. Time. Money trees collapse, fall down, and then we don't have any trees left. That's what happens. We put money in them. Some really old coins in there. There's some new ones as well, though, yeah. Come by. No. <laughs> Come on, that's not the right way. Draw attention to yourself. <laughs> she's not doing a very good sheepdog impression here, is she? <laughs> she's rounding us up. Oh, no, she's rounding me up, all right. <laughs> Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Where are we? Uh, Burnsall. Burnsall, that's it, yeah. There's lots of people kayaking and taking the canoes and stuff. Oh, Burnsall ice cream, there we go. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I'll go and have a look. Barely for an ice cream, but... Let's go and explore. We're heading up the river somewhere behind there to head to Hebden Bridge and then on to Grassington, so let's go and find our route. Caroline's reading the sign. I'll put her shoe back on. <laughs> Whilst emptying the stones out my shoes. So what is this path? This path, beside the River Wharf, is an ancient one. During the past 1,000 years, it has been used by many different sorts of people. We've tried to imagine some of them with the help of the people from, of Burnsall. Now, that sounds like I'm actually really going yeah, to start know. into some kind of feature, but I'm sure reading the oh, sign. Oh yeah, reading the sign. Good point. We haven't actually Thousands uh, of years. fostered the locals. You enjoying your walk? Just listen to the nothingness, the water, the Tweety birds. So lovely, so peaceful. Look at it. I love this river. It's really nice, isn't it? I'm going to pan around yeah. and see. Yeah, Molly's uh, enjoying it too. Yeah, she's been off the lead pretty much the whole time, apart from the road bit. And the good thing is, it's a good, um, it's a good path. It's like yes. solid. It's not muddy. I mean, it's a bit wet and dirty, but it's not boggy, is it? Which is, uh, I think, what we were thinking it might be. Yeah, that's really good. Caroline pointed out the stepping stones over there and then I was going to go on them but I'm not allowed, apparently. Well, if you want to spend the rest of the <laughs> day with wet feet when you, walk, when you fall in, you, you do it. All right. Then Molly will watch from the side with, well, the, Molly camera, won't. Molly with the camera equipment. Okay, I'll <laughs> Molly will come. stand at the side with the valley uh, Okay. Oh, it's not me. Stop it. Stop answering it. It is. Oh, go all Indiana Jones in a minute. Gorgeous. All Yorks are gorgeous. It's proper wobbly, isn't it? Not very wide either. I right, better get off as people coming. Yeah, I know. My favourite autumnal pastime. <laughs> Conkers. Did you see in that pub we were in yesterday? They had a sign up inside yes. about the Conker Championship. I did. Oh, damn it's it. the end of the month, isn't it? In the pub, we have to come back. 
Conquer Championship, Conquers so good. provided and everything. Oh, I'm sure we can come back for that event. When we did it last year, I had to wear oven gloves because Ian's too violent. <laughs> It's not true. You are, it's too competitive. Oh no, we're just my conquer has to win. That's such a weird sentence. <laughs> well, we've just walked here and now realised there is motorhome parking. We've only walked four and a half miles, not to worry. <laughs> So I'm at the Drover's Arms, better known as what's, what it's actually called is the Devonshire Grassington. What's Perry. it famous for? It's a pub, the Drover's Arms, in All Creatures Great and Small. Excellent. What are you drinking? I don't know, what am I drinking? Yeah, Timothy Taylor, fun lord. Something um, cidery and fruity, it's very nice. We've had a lovely walk, it's a beautiful walk. Very nice. Have a look around, it's so quaint here. Okay, I'll have a look around, thanks. The Devonshire. Why is it famous? It's the pub in on, uh, Old Creatures Green Small. Excellent. Thank you. And then we're going to have some food. Of course. It's a bit of a pub theme to this trip, isn't there? Always. Yeah. Behind us is the square. It's a bit more popular. And then... And then on the table, so can you pull it? Although she's had a nice swim. Have you ordered? I'm having soup. Roasted parsnip with honey and mustard. Oh, nice. Right. What am I having? You're having a hot sirloin sandwich. Nice. Good. With horseradish. Good. Are well, these roads and the other lines in the folk for going to watch? I have a look at them. Don't you think they um, CGI them out? It's so, yeah. Interesting. That's the square. Over there. You know, like Christmas market and stuff. I noticed there's no street lights or anything, is there? No, and things are must have to hide as well. Yeah. But aerials, TV aerials. Yeah. Anyway, are you having a nice time? I'm having the best time. <laughs> Good. So easily, please. Nice walk. Bit of uh, TV trivia. Um, another local gin, another uh, walk, another day, another gin. Grassington gin. We're turning into alcoholics with the stop this. What is it? Okay. This is Swale, Swaledale, no, Swale, Scaledale. Swale. This is Scaledale House, which is the, oh, get off my brownies. Um, which is the vets and Trist, Tristan and Siegfried's house in the programme. There's pillars missing, isn't there? Yeah. We Maybe we'll is. put in a slide so you can see the representation to check we've got it right. Yeah, hopefully we've got the right house. I've also got some brownies. Oh yeah, I've also got some brownies. So, the Stripey Badger Bookshop, cafe, bookshop, whatever it is now, um, is the greengrocers in Darby. This is the square. Now imagine it without the cars. What are you doing in the square? Uh, this was the Darby Show. Oh yes, the Darby Show. Anything else? That's all we've seen so far. It's a fountain in it. Yeah, it is. Pub. Bookshop. House.
This is very daring for Caroline. She's, she's gone out on these rocks. They're actually pretty solid, but... <laughs> so she falls in. Whoa. Well done. That's very good for you. Thanks. With your excellent centre of gravity. <laughs> Why are some people obsessed with doing everything difficult or dangerous way? Why can I just not cross the bridge? Ooh. We are at Darnby Church. It's what? actually in the village of Burnsall. She's just down the road. We've just walked along the river from Grassington to get here. This is like uh, on our route back to the campsite. And what was what is it famous for? Uh, well, it's the church that they're always at in All Creatures Great and Small. No, what's, what's, why is it so famous in the programme? What happened here? Well, I'm not going to spoil it for people. <laughs> I haven't seen, obviously. Very Duh. Good. Spoiler alert. It's okay. Trying to blame that on me. Let you off then. There's a wedding here. I'll give you a clue. Look, that's where you'll be if you don't behave yourself. What, in a grave? <laughs> well, behind that. Oh, right, sorry. The stocks first. Oh, the stocks, thank goodness for that. Wow, there's some stocks. Taking a sinister turn. Yeah, oh no. Let's go and see if we can get ice cream. If not, we'll just walk back. Let's go. Come on, Molly. Nearly tea time. We got ice cream from over there. Very nice ice cream just there. And what flavour did you get? Black cherry. Black cherry. Not there a massive. Top of strawberry, real strawberries, mm -hmm. sorry. No, I'm just gonna say. I'm not um usually a fan of ice cream. Well, this has got masses of real cherries in. Nice. It's really good. What'd you get, Mal? Oh nothing, sorry. Oh. We're just overlooking the river, there's the bridge. And there's the pub, the red lion who walked past before. Just over there. Hello. We're not sure if this is gonna work, it might be too windy. We've got our filter on the microphone but we'll see. We're sat in Burnsall. Burnsall, not Burnstall or Snow by all. Burnsall. Burnsall. That's it, we're there. Um, we're almost back to the campsite. We've got the last stop just over a mile to go. We drove through here yesterday. There was a horse, you might have seen it on the left hand side by the pub. That side, whichever really side you can see this on. Fantastic day, really nice walk. We're um, about nine miles in. Uh, so just over about 10 mile round trip. And we've been to Burnsall, Hebden Bridge, Cross the Stoss, Crossing Stones, Stepping Stones, Crescenton, which is Darby. Darby. Had lunch in the Drover's Arms. Drover's Arms. Whatever the pub, the Devonshire, something yeah. rather. And the best bit, we met our very first viewers who recognised us. <laughs> well, they recognised Molly uh, in the yeah. pub. Lovely people, really nice. We'll feature them in our video. Uh, yeah. You'll see who they were. We, we made them let them, we made them let us take their picture so we can beat to them. Uh, we're very very pleased. They made our day. So thank you very yeah. much, lovely really subscribers. Lovely people, yeah. So yeah, we'll that's... show you them shortly when we get back. That was nice. Yeah. yeah. Put, so, the, put the picture in. I'll we're going to go now before Molly chases any more motorbikes. Before she pulls me actually off the bench. Yeah. yeah. Lovely ice cream, Yorkshire ice cream we just had, and uh, yeah, that's it now. So we're headed back. Last bit. We get to campsite. Oh, we've also got some beer in my backpack as well. We'll show you that too. We're back, and mm, there's only just us left. <laughs> Welcome to Sundays during school time. <laughs> yeah, this is great, we'll do this again. There's like a couple of camper vans behind you, caravan motorhome, and all the campers are gone. And then it's just us, there. Hello. Hello. We are back from Darby, stroke Grassington, slash Grassington stroke Darby. It's good, wasn't it? Really good, really lovely place, really quaint. Yeah, we had a really good day. We've watched- Just made me feel all lovely and Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very warming because the sunshine was out too, which also yeah, helped. Yeah, it helped. We've walked just over 10 miles there and back, so it's five miles there, five miles back from this campsite, Mason's campsite, which we felt really, really nice campsite. It is nice, yeah. Really enjoyed it, it's right by the river. Loads of facilities like shop, uh, obviously normal facilities to get a campsite, but it's got, a, in the morning you can get, you can pre-order bread and stuff, which we mm, did for today. We did order some bread today, it was very good. And we had that this morning for our breakfast, it was really tasty. Um, so just go over and get it in the morning. So anyway, we walked today to Grassington. We were sat in the Drover's Arms outside having dinner. Which um, is the Drover's Arms in the actual programme, yeah, the called, Devonshire. No, 
think. It's called something else. No, it's the Devonshire. Is it? Yeah, Devonshire. We'll put something. a picture of it up just so you know. Yeah, anyway, definitely. we'll have featured it. Yeah. I'm very pleased to say we got we got recognised. Our first YouTube viewers recognised us outside the pub. Well, I think they recognised Molly actually. Yeah. Um, but they came and said hello. Absolutely lovely. So we met Andrea, Richard, and Ruby, Ruby. and also we met Kev, Sue, and Delilah, the dog. Very nice to meet you. You are lovely people. So thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for watching. Yes, if all our viewers are like you, we've got a very nice viewer base. So thank you yeah, very much. Yeah, we won't have to go out in disguise. Yeah, they did catch us going into the beer shop though obviously <laughs> just about to go in so Standard. i was able to get some beers it was a proper beer shop winery um this one we had yesterday this is hetton pale ale I had this one in the pub yesterday recommended by the landlord it was really nice so i've got this one 4.2 it's just made literally just down the road um it's one of wards and all sorts so this is the closest one uh hetton wharfdale brewery um but two from the same one the blonde uh and the yorkshire nailers brewery which again is not far away at all nice local beers if you can see them on the camera hopefully and then finally for pudding from Masham which I've been to before Black Sheep Brewery uh, Chuck Orange Stout which Ooh. looks rather delicious so I can't wait to try that one that's that's a pudding beer definitely I so. got some chocolate orange brownies yep and they cost more than my beer <laughs> it was nine pound for four so they better be good brownies yeah but we've really enjoyed it here it's been a lovely place so um, yeah we'll definitely come back there's yeah. loads more to walk isn't there yeah, loads. Yeah, and we just kind of went that way down the river walk. There's um, plenty if you go the opposite direction. Yeah, Bolton um, Abbey's the other way if you go the other way, which yeah. is uh, which is really nice as well. And then um, yeah, all across the fields and um, yeah, the, the whole route is um, you can do 80 miles starting off at Ilkley and then you go up to basically Bowness and Windermere, so it's really nice. So we're going to park it here. I'm going to set up for the night and uh, have our dinner and drink some of these beers, and obviously watch the uh, last week's episode of well creatures great and small now now we feel like we're in it <laughs> yeah so thanks ever so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video bye we do then people are getting chased by cows Literally the cow has just ran at them. Literally the bull has just charged them down. Well, they're in the other side of the field. Yeah. Uh, so we filmed that? Sorry, I got majorly distracted. I thought they were going to get trampled. Well, they're not in the same field as the cows. They are. What are they doing in the field with the cows? That's not oh, a footpath. They... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. It's like working with Dory. You know, off saving Nemo. Attention Saving Nemo. Finding Nemo. <laughs> I felt safe five of us. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me for the cow trampling incident that oh, distracted yeah. me. Anyway. <laughs>